George St. Pierre is without a doubt one of the very best pound for pound. The beacon. He's the pinnacle. He's the top of the peak. He might just finish it. And it's over. Challenges in 170. I don't know. There's always going to be new guys coming up and new challenges at the stated 170. There's Nick Diaz, too. As Nick Diaz goes into fight, he goes into fight, he goes into finish, he'll go toe to toe. He's mean, he's nasty. I never fought a guy like him. He's a big threat to my title. Nick's got some serious fucking hands and he puts himself in danger to land shots. If I beat the champion, George St. Pierre, that's just as important as being the champion. I don't care if I get the belt. When Nick Diaz fought all day. Nick Diaz went after him only with standing. Didn't even try to submit him. Didn't try to take him down. Just banged it out with him and dragged him into deep water and then knocked him out. The goals I see in George's game are his stand-up. This kid is great on his feet, great leg kicks. I'll take what the guy gives me. If he gives me anything, if he doesn't, I'm going to have to push buttons. The biggest test of my career, and as a true champion, I really embrace the challenge. A clear white hat versus black hat. Villain versus good guy. You like to be the bad guy. That's how you get his adrenaline bump. I need to portray to my adversary that I'm gonna fucking kill you. So this guy, you need to be uh, eliminated. I don't think George is gonna want to stand up. He does some stuff that is just really atypical. This guy stands up in the middle of the cage after he wins a fight and says, "Hey, I want to fight Nick Diaz. I'll hop the cage and I'll get up in this face and I say, "What's up? Let's do this." You know what I'm saying? Be careful what you ask for, because a off George St. Pierre is a dangerous I'm going there to win and to take him out. I will be asked.